Hello and welcome to Kent Today Video News, your roundup of what's going on in Kent on Wednesday the 5th of March. I'm Joanna Earle. Patients waiting more than 11 hours and blood splatters have been found by inspectors in an A&E department at a Kent hospital. The Care Quality Commission visited Medway Maritime in Gillingham and found overcrowding and dirty conditions. Hospital bosses have been told to improve care. They've apologised and said they've recruited more staff. Three men who punched, kicked and stamped on a mother and her sons on a P&O ferry have been jailed. The trio from Eastry and Aylsham attacked the family as it was arriving in Dover in March last year. They omitted assault and a fray and have been jailed for a total of just over six years. A woman's been left devastated after a digger drove over her husband's grave on Sheppey. Contractors from Swale Council left the plot where Ian White is buried churned up and covered with tyre marks. His relatives said they also damaged ornaments. The councils apologised and said it'll be fixed as soon as possible. A Margate teenager is starting her new job as Kent's Youth Commissioner and says social media will be a powerful tool. Kerry Boyd, who's 19, is taking a gap year from her degree and was chosen from a shortlist of five candidates. She replaces Paris Brown from Sheppey, who quit almost a year ago after posting offensive messages on Twitter. There's more local news on KMFM, but that's it from Kent today.